After calculating the mass of solute that you need, you can then weigh this into a weighing boat using a top pan balance. You should use an appropriate balance, probably one to two or three decimal places. After weighing, the solute can then be transferred into a glass beaker. And it's important to make sure that all of the solute is transferred, and to do this you should rinse the weighing boat with distilled water. You now need to ensure that all of the solute has been dissolved in distilled water. So you should add more water if required, and you should swell the solution. You may also need to use a glass stirring rod. If you need to And once you're happy that all of the solute has dissolved, you can transfer your solution into a volumetric flask using a glass funnel. Take care not to spill any solution because if you do so you will have to start the whole process again. Now it's vital to rinse the beaker to ensure that none of your original solution is left behind. You will be required to do this a number of times and if you're not sure what the guidelines from your teacher are, ask how many times you should do this. In any case it should be two or three times. And having rinsed the beaker, it's also important to rinse the glass funnel to make sure that none of the original solution is left in there either. Once you're happy with the rinsing, you can remove the funnel and place a stopper into the volumetric flask. And gently shaking the flask at this stage ensures that all of the solute is in solution and is easier to do than when the flask has been topped up with water. And now we're ready to fill the flask up to the line. This can be done using distilled water from a wash bottle. As you get closer to the line it's important to take great care because if you overshoot you'll have to start the whole thing again. When you're within a couple of centimetres of the line make sure you're viewing at eye level and add the water very slowly in small portions until the bottom of the meniscus is touching the line. You may want to use a dropping pipette at this stage if you're a little nervous. And here you can see that the bottom of the meniscus is touching the line so we've filled the flask to the correct level. Once the solution is made up, it should be stored with the stopper firmly in place. And before using the solution, you must ensure that it is homogeneous, which can be done by gently inverting and shaking the flask. We now have a standard solution which is ready to be used in a titration.